In today's video, we'll dive into the Tesla versus Toyota debate against Mr. Gordon Johnson's opinion about the mentioned issue. From debunking myths to predicting the future of electric vehicles, join us as we navigate the volatile world of automotive disruption. Buckle up for a wild ride! On Twitter, a discourse about the two cars was going on, wherein one user expressed that Tesla had gotten the advantage over Toyota. Since Ross is an industry key influencer and the most outspoken person, therefore he is the one who leads the way in always stating that Tesla is far better. At the defined point, Gordon has been persuading Toyota to the existing public for years. In actual fact, there are recorded accounts from 2013 when Gordon said that an EV has laptop batteries and will do what modern electric vehicles started to do, be affordable. He was doing some sort of commercial with some Android toy and argues that EVs will remain expensive forever. Throughout ever-changing battery technologies, improving public charging infrastructure and production struggles, there is only one thing Gordon keeps predicting. It repeats, and that is, Tesla's EVs are merely a niche stable and will slowly fade away. Nonetheless, the evidence portrayed on the scene during the debate disproves Andrew's viewpoints, where we can see that EV sales have obviously increased considerably. The exclusion of which is a prerequisite for coming up with the figures given above in the past 10 year, only a very small percent, 0.3, of vehicles running on the road were EVs compared to the present 11% of all brand new vehicles. The amount of extra cars increased by 30 times during that time, contradicting Gordon's scenario in which EVs are a fleeting trend. In the story of the evolution of technology, let's go along this strip of the past, where the sound is not of the sparkling of car wheels, but of the clipping hooves of a horse and the graceful jingling of the horse carriage. A cosmos where an automobile seemed about as dramatic as an adventure dreamt in Stardust. Nonetheless, despite this impression of absolute intransigence, an unexpected intruder was introduced. A man, Henry Ford, with a design that would scatter automobiles world forever. Whether it was one chronological progression that saw the horse and buggy go from being fast to being much slower than the Model T are some examples of historical innovations. No, innovation is the long-strided outsider who sticks to the uneven path of change. All went through a 180-degree turn in a blink of an eye and drowned ourselves in the modern notions, clearing out whatever was old and replacing it with something new and the frenzy of alterations. Now, as we return to the present, let us ponder the question that hangs in the air like a lingering mist. Can the former industry leaders, well known for their heritage and traditional values with their huge production volume, ever hope to compete with the industry changes at Tesla? Looking at this strip of knowledge, the title could imply what is at hand, while the story is what can predict the future. Alright everyone, let's dive into Gordon's claims and unpack what's really going on in the world of electric vehicles, EVs, and hybrids. Now, Gordon's argument centers around the idea that hybrids are essentially a half-baked solution to the EV revolution. He's throwing some punches, claiming that companies like Toyota are banking on hybrids because they're trying to squeeze a few more drops out of the fossil fuel tank while pretending to care about the environment. But let's look beyond the smoke and mirrors, shall we? Sure, hybrids might seem like a middle ground between gas guzzlers and fully electric vehicles, but let's be real here. They're like the awkward middle child at the family reunion, neither here nor there. From an engineering standpoint, hybrids are a hodgepodge of complexity and cost. Think about it. More parts, more processes more things to potentially go wrong. And who wants to deal with extra maintenance and repair bills? Not you, not me, not anyone. Gordon's not wrong when he says that companies are dangling hybrids in front of loyal customers 
like a shiny lure, hoping to reel them in, promises of being green, while secretly keeping one foot firmly planted in the fossil fuel era. But guess what? Consumers are smarter than that. They're seeing through the facade and voting with their wallets. Here's the real tea. For every one hybrid being sold, there are three pure electric vehicles hitting the road. And that gap? It's only getting wider. The future is electric, my friends. And hybrids are just a temporary pit stop on the way to greener pastures. And let's talk about cost. While companies might think they're saving a few bucks by slapping a tiny battery into an internal combustion engine vehicle and calling it a hybrid, they're missing the bigger picture. The real savings, both for the environment and for our wallets, lie fully in electric vehicles, with advancements in battery technology and manufacturing processes. The sky is the limit for driving costs down in the EV world. Simultaneously, Tesla incessantly pursues the goal of becoming a paysetter in the automotive industry by way of constant innovation. On top of the fact that their competitiveness in the area of electric vehicles, technology development made them a leader in the field. The revolution of production processes has contributed to their impact. The legacy automakers around the world keep producing ICE modules without any kind of intelligent propulsion integrated into their architecture. While Tesla has designed their electric vehicles from scratch into their existing models from the ground up, with the integration, it is not only the area of performance and efficiency that is improved, but it also brings down the general difficulty and costs of production. Tesla company's vertically integrated production method from battery making to vehicle assembling offers currently unreachable benefits like economies of scale and efficiency improvement. Tesla has achieved an efficient production process by automating its operations using the state-of-art technologies like robotics and artificial intelligence, which brings not only the automation, but also the quality control simultaneously at the lowest cost. It leads to the conclusion that not only are EVs by Tesla more eco-friendly, but also compete with vehicles by other manufacturers by offering consumers more for less. EVs seem to be on a path to getting cheaper and cheaper, which is good news for people who are not prepared to invest in EVs that are currently sold to the wealthy. Such vehicles stand a good chance of dominating the streets of the future. Bearing in mind that some drivers will be lured by the fairly bought quest, a lot of people who have strong brand identification and marketing trickery might still buy them in particular regions. Nevertheless, the fix will eventually be left behind as the real EVs bring only superior performance, thus paving their way to the top on this modern auto scene. One might want to assume that these obsolete vehicles will be slowly forgotten and singled out to a tiny footnote in the sustainable mobility revolution. The tide, it seems, is definitely against the traditional ICE vehicles and is strongly pro-EVs, with their sales witnessing a staggering 30-fold surge in just a decade. It's not inconceivable that a mere 10-fold increase could mark their dominance, constituting 100% of all new vehicle purchases. The seismic shift in consumer preferences heralds a new era in transportation, one where sustainability Innovation and affordability converge to shape the future of mobility, and at the helm of this revolution stands Tesla, driving change and inspiring the world to reimagine what's possible. Gordon made a compelling argument about the cost-effectiveness and efficiency of plug-in hybrid vehicles, PHVs, compared to battery electric vehicles, BEVs. His points resonated with some listeners, especially those concerned about upfront costs and range anxiety. However, upon closer examination, it becomes apparent that his arguments may not be as robust as they initially seem. Firstly, Gordon highlights the lower initial cost of plug-in hybrids compared to battery electric vehicles. He mentions that the average cost of a PHV is significantly lower than that of a BEV. While this may be true on the surface, it's essential to delve deeper in the long-term costs and benefits of each type of vehicle. 
Secondly, one critical aspect that Gordon fails to address adequately is the ongoing operational costs of owning a vehicle. While plug-in hybrids may have a lower upfront cost, they still rely partially on gasoline, which incurs ongoing fuel expenses. In contrast, battery electric vehicles rely entirely on electricity, which tends to be cheaper per mile compared to gasoline. Additionally, maintenance costs for electric vehicles are typically lower due to fewer moving parts and the absence of a traditional internal combustion engine. Gordon's argument regarding range anxiety and the convenience of plug-in hybrids fails to acknowledge the rapid advancements in electric vehicle technology, particularly in battery performance and charging infrastructure. As battery technology continues to improve, electric vehicles are achieving longer ranges and faster charging times, mitigating concerns about range anxiety. After watching the entire video, let's clear things out, my friends. While Gordon raises valid points regarding the cost and efficiency of plug-in hybrids, his arguments do not fully account for the evolving landscape of electric vehicle technology and consumer preferences. Battery electric vehicles continue to gain traction as viable alternatives to traditional internal combustion engine vehicles, driven by advancements in technology, declining costs, and increasing environmental awareness. I hope this discussion has shed light on the complexity surrounding the debate between the world's competing brands in terms of vehicles. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share it with others who may benefit from the insights shared here. Together, let's drive towards a greener and more sustainable future. Thank you for watching.